everybody! This is going to be this month's Ipsy bag unboxing. I actually received this about a week ago, but I just haven't had time to record it. But I really liked this month's bag, so I wanted to show you guys in case you don't receive these or hadn't seen it. So when I open it up, it comes with the card as always. And then this month's bag is super cute. It's like a metallic gray with studs right here and it's a little bit bigger than it typically is so that automatically got me pretty excited and I just I don't know it's soft and I like the material so then when I reach in first thing I see is from Pacifica and it's a nail polish I actually have it on my nails right now I tried it on I say five days ago it says gorgeous color 100% vegan fast drying and long wearing and I have the color red red wine which I think is such a gorgeous color for fall it looks like there you can see it on my nails although it's really chipped but it's like a deep wine color like deep burgundy red color it's really really pretty I have to say when I first tried this on I had really high hopes because it was so pigmented and it went on so easily the brush was really nice I could have got away with one coat I did two just because I wanted to um, and it actually did dry really really fast so I had super high hopes for it unfortunately it started chipping the very next day and we're like five days in now and there's quite a lot of chippage happening and I put a top coat on it too so I don't know I'll try it again different ways but um, I love the color it's just not that long wearing so far anyways so that is the nail polish the next thing I got is a brush from crown brush I have a couple crown brushes um, from the eye mats I went to in Vancouver last year this one's a dual ended brush and it's called the crease shadow brush so they're calling this end here the crease although it's a very small almost pencil brush very small dome quite hard but i would almost use this more as a smudger brush and then this they're calling the shadow brush which for sure you could pat on eyeshadow with but it's quite thick so you could almost use this in your crease so i don't know i'm not going to follow the rules as to what's for what but i definitely will get use out of it seems quite sturdy so that's good the next thing I see is from Briogeo <laughs> Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. It's a hair mask and it's a pretty good size. So I haven't tried it yet. I wanted to film this before I stuck it in my shower and use it all up. I haven't even smelt it yet. But I love hair masks. I love trying out new ones. Oh, it's very thick. It smells like coconuts. You can see how thick it is. It doesn't even move. Ooh, I have high hopes for that. So I'll get quite a few uses out of that. And then I have this Toner Serum Moisturizer in One from Lee Annie Eco. Never heard of this brand. Comes in a little bottle like this. And there's no directions on it. There's the ingredients on it, but no directions. So Toner Serum Moisturizer in One. I'm guessing as soon as you wash your face, you just put this on and that's supposed to be it. It doesn't say if there's SPF in it or not. Smell it for you guys. I don't really smell any scent. So, I mean, I'll try it, but it's kind of a weird, weird product in my opinion. It wasn't what I was most excited about. And the last product I was probably the most excited about. It's from the company Kaylin. It's a tinted lip gloss art touch in the color Love Affair. Full size. It's very similar to the... Um, color of the nail polish there it's like the dark red wine color um, but when I actually used it and swatched it and as soon as I pulled it out I don't know if you can tell it's actually quite purple and I love that for fall it's like a, a berry purple color more than it is a red wine color there it is there I don't know how much purple it's gonna show but it is quite purple um, and I wore it a couple days ago there it is there and it stains your lips. It doesn't claim to be a staining lip gloss, like I'm gonna have this stained on my fingers now, but it stains and it stays for a while and it's not sticky, so I actually quite like it. It's like you can put on a lip gloss and know that the color will be there for a while. So yeah, I was really excited about that. So I got, again, the bag, the lip gloss, the serum moisturizer, the nail polish, the hair mask, and the dual side brush. I thought this was a really great month for Ipsy. If you received Ipsy, definitely let me know what you got in your bag in the comments down below. And I'll leave to a link to Ipsy in case you want to purchase for yourself. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!